Right in the middle of Santiago de Compostela's old town, you'll find the Mercado de Abastos, the traditional market. Here you can buy everything you need to prepare typical Galician dishes. And because the Atlantic Ocean is just 30 kilometers away, there's plenty of seafood. <laughs> Restaurant owners Marco Sequiero and Iago Passos come here every morning to buy fresh ingredients. They don't have to go far because their restaurant is right next to the market entrance. We don't need a fridge. We already have one. The market itself. We change our menu every day depending on what's on offer there. We always look for the freshest produce according to the season. The market determines what we cook. A year ago, the two who'd become friends while studying hotel management fulfilled a dream and turned six market stalls into their own restaurant, even though it was just 28 square meters in size. They serve only Galician cuisine, accompanied by local wines. They have no fixed menu. Instead, there's a changing daily special and all sorts of new variations on tapas, which the young restaurateurs love to reinvent, porcini capacho, or figs with sardines. We take our mother's and grandmother's recipes and try to modify them slightly. The basics remain the same, but the presentation is modern, a bit more entertaining. How about fast food from an espresso machine? We call these clams espresso. That's a pun, because they're cooked with the steam of the espresso machine, and espresso means fast. In no more than 10 seconds, the shells open, and they're piping hot. Five, four, three, two, one. And we have our espresso clams. Espresso. Boiled and lightly sautéed Swiss chard, a dollop of paprika foam, roast potatoes and grilled octopus. Octopus is the Galician national dish. This is quick and simple cuisine that focuses on ingredients. That's what makes a typical Galician dish. The two restaurant owners love to experiment with food. They're always refining their recipes. Sometimes they even consult their customers. A typically Galician ingredient like cod is marinated in rice vinegar, for example, before being served with a traditional cabbage sauce and spicy chorizo oil. This fish dries out if you cook it too long. We counterbalance that with chorizo oil and cabbage sauce. Cabbage and spicy chorizo sausages are part of Galicia. The combination is a must here and has been for a long time. The tiny restaurant does great business, but it fills up very quickly. The room is just two and a half meters wide, and there's only one table, which seats 12 people. From their seats, diners can look right into the open kitchen at the end of the room. We try to provide very personal service. From the kitchen, we can be at the dining table in no time and explain how we prepare the dishes and swap recipes with the customers. We tell them which seaport the fish we've bought for them comes from. They like that. In the evenings and at weekends, the unconventional proprietors offer another exclusive service, cooking for private functions at a pre-arranged price. Then they head for the market to put together a surprise menu. 